morning everyone. I am Teacher Connie and I will be your teacher in Science 5. Before we start our lesson, I want you to prepare the following. Today, I will discuss about recognizing useful and harmful materials or use the properties of materials whether they are useful or harmful as 5MT-1 A to B-1. Matter has different properties that can be considered in order to minimize waste. Everything around us is matter. The soil, water, air. Matter has different properties that make them different from one another. Some types have properties that make them good materials for producing useful products. Other types have properties that make them harmful. Sometimes, matter also undergoes changes that affect its properties. Earth has everything we need to survive. There are also things that can harm us. For example, it has all the food that we eat to get the nutrients and energy in order to live. However, food once rotten can harm and destroy us. That is why it is important to know how to distinguish useful from harmful materials. It can save us from danger and distress. What I know. Directions determine which of the activities below is desirable or harmful. Write D if desirable or H if harmful. listed in column 1 with their usefulness or harmfulness in column 2. Time is up, and now let us check your work. 1. E. Protects the walls and roofs. 2. B. Cleans dirty clothes. 3. A. Kills insects and pests. 4. C. Used in cooking food. 5. B. Causes poisoning and death. If your answers are correct, keep up the good work. If not, Better luck next time. What's in? Directions. 
classify the following materials usually found at home and in school. Fantastic! If not, better luck next time! How do the materials become useful or harmful? Materials are said to be useful when they serve their purpose. This may have properties such as durability, flexibility, elasticity, hardness, and resistance to water, heat, or acid. Most of the useful materials can be reused and recycled. For example, a container for solid or liquid. When it is already empty, it can still be used for other purposes, such as a flower vase, a coin bank, or a house decor. Whether a bottle is made of plastic or glass, it has a property that makes it reusable. Some useful materials may also bring hazards. For example, a broken glass jar can cause cuts or injury. Toxic substances may also be present in the things you commonly use, such as paints, cleaners, fumes, gels, or powders. These materials may bring harm to your health environment, and other organisms when not used properly. That's why you should be careful when handling and using different materials. Activity 1, Directions. Classify the different materials found in the word pool below as useful or harmful. Use the following table as a guide. Afterwards, answer the follow-up questions. Activity 2. Directions. Classify whether the materials below are useful or harmful. Put a check mark on the appropriate column. Afterward, answer the follow-up questions.
For activity 3, directions. Identify which of the materials below is useful or harmful by drawing a happy face for useful and sad face for harmful. What I learned. Directions. Complete the paragraph using the words in the box. you will always remember the things that you have learned today because learning is fun thank you for watching and listening bye